Right, so, the Wolf River Coils. Fantastic antenna, one I've touted uh, its praises many, many times. But something has been festering in my mind for quite a while now, and I'm actually gonna try and do it now. Uh, so based off of how we build the DX Commander, Callum's done a lot of research and found uh, through this great article that I've kind of read, but not totally. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't so much matter the length of each individual counterpoise wire so much. We're talking ground mounted. So much as just the overall length. So the Wolfer Recoils has three 33 foot radials. But that takes up a 66 foot radius when you're out in the field. So I'm wondering, and uh, I've had a couple people comment on the channel lately, if, if we could use that same kind of mentality uh, of using more but shorter counterpoise wires. So uh, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna blame Callum. If it does work, I'll take full credit for it, of course. <laughs> Uh, but I've got these, I've got these ring terminals. This is from uh, Crimp Supply. I just, I just bought these on Amazon one day because I needed some. Turns out they've got a 248 area code. That's my area code. So they're a Michigan company. These things are freaking awesome. Just picked them up off of Amazon. They're uh, 10, 12 to 10 gauge high temperature ring terminals. New. Sales at crimpsupply.com. Not affiliated in any way. Just randomly bought these on Amazon and they are stupid strong. So. I got this little bit of uh, DX10 wire that I'm gonna try out. I got a bunch of extra DX Commander wire, so I'm gonna try this with, uh, I wanna just make five of them, because I, I wanna still use the conventional three uh, counterpoise wires to connect to the leg, you know, one, one wire per leg, but I wanna see if I can cram five wires in here. So 33 feet, 10 meters, let's call it. So if I make those uh, if we divide that by five, then we can get two meter uh, counterpoise wires, which is about six feet, seven inches, something like that. It's better to do everything in meters than before you at me and say, oh, why aren't you doing this in feet? What band are you on, okay? I don't wanna hear about feet. Imperial system is stupid. Metric is awesome. So I'm gonna do this all in metrics. I'm gonna cut, um, if this works, I just wanna see if this will fit. Um, but I'll, I'll end up cutting 15 two meter radials, thus still uh, equating to 30 meters of wire. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these. I want to see if I can cram five of these into this ring, ring terminal, which I suspect I can, but we need to do the research and sacrifice some wire. This is why you never throw out wire. You never know when you're going to need it. So I'm going to prepare all these and uh, just strip them all and see if I can cram them in here. So through the magic power of editing, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can twist all five of these together and will it fit in that ring terminal? Oh gosh, yeah. So now that I know that works, I can crimp and solder these, heat shrink and pretty them up, and uh, I can start spooling off 15 two meter lengths of wire. Brilliant! So, I got a bunch of, bunch of extra wire just from when building the X Commanders. I got a whole spool right there, so we'll use that stuff first. 15 two meter wires, should do it. I think it's illegal as a ham to throw out wire. If it's not, it should be. You never know when you can use it. Here, right on that one. We can just match them up to one another. Is there five, six. Always make sure to have some decoy wire for your cat, lest they chew on the good stuff. You counting? Because I'm not. How many is that now? 13 and two more. And 15.
Now, while I primarily use the Silver Bullet Mini, I'm gonna try and tune it up on 80 with the Silver Bullet 1000. Just gonna use the stock whip that comes with it. I think it's, I don't know, eight feet or something like that, I forget. And uh, instead of using the tripod legs, I'm gonna use my patented K-Murder Death Spike. <laughs> this is actually just a leg from the Mega Tripod that I ground to a spike and put a mirror mount on, and I'm gonna attach the counterpoise wires to one of these lugs and spread them out, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Try not to lose all these washers and whatnot. Excuse me, washers. Ain't gotta be perfect, just gotta work perfect. Now we can just fan these out. And now as you can see, we've got a beautiful radial field. So let me plug in the coil and the coax, and we'll see if we can tune it up on 80. And then we'll test all the other bands on the Silver Bullet Mini. Now that we've gotten this far, it's important to stay hydrated. So make sure you grab your favorite beer and enjoy. Here's to you, Cal, and Wolf River Coils. And let's see, I haven't put 80 on this in a while, but I know it's down here somewhere. Extend our cool whip. Our Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 5 coax should do the trick. Hook this up to the rig expert stick pro, our trusty analyzer. Get out of town. <laughs> That'll never ever happen again. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Who has ever tuned a Wolf River coil? First try. 1.09 to 1 at 38.13. Son of a gun. Now, while this is extremely narrow banded, this just goes to prove that we can do this. My radial field is only four meters wide, so that's freaking awesome. What is that, 13 feet maybe, something like that, radius? I mean, this is, this is my garden. <laughs> this is it, so uh, if before I would have to have radials running in the middle of the street where the camera is right now, and then I kind of had to fold them all in here. This is great. Plus, if you're on the beach or something, or you're out in a, like a highly populated area, uh, less chance for people to walk into your radial field. So that's awesome. So now I'm gonna put the Silver Bullet Mini on, and we'll go through, uh, we'll check 40 and 20 and a couple other bands and see what we can get with that. So let's check 40 now. It's too short, so we need to lengthen it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Look at this. I had to lengthen, I had to, I had to spread out the whole coax. I had it coiled up, wasn't getting a good reading. Look at that. Yeah, 1.09 to one. I think this is working. Let's try 30 meters. That was perfect. So I screwed it up. A little short, now it's a little long. 30's a dick. It's not too bad. I don't keep feel, feel like fussing with it, but if you wanted to tweak it a little better, it's a little, little short, but you can adjust the coil a little bit more, but under 1.5 to one. Let's see what 20 meters does. Let's go up a couple clicks. Really? Oh, okay. Too short now. Hmm. Ooh, buddy. So 20 is being a little more sensitive, but still pretty darn good. I'm sure if I fuss with it more, I can get a little bit better than that, but. It's a little, a little higher than the other ones, but that's okay. Let's check 17. Yeah, I'll take that. With as little fuss as I did for that, 1.26 to one. I mean, it's resonant slightly below the band, but you get the idea. Let's see what uh, 15 does. <laughs> Mama love a 15. Look at that. Wow, that's great. Okay, so I think we've proved that uh, the shorter and more counterpoise wires works in terms of what the analyzer thinks. How well will it get out? Let's find out. I got the 7300 on the uh, front porch here. Let's see if we can make a contact or two. I'm gonna tune it back to 20 uh, and see what we can make. Pick the hottest time of the day to come out here and do this. Whiskey 7, 
Whiskey Tango Sierra. Huh. Good afternoon. Ah, Roger, Whiskey 7, Whiskey Tango Sierra. I've got you about a 5x5 five five here into Texas. That was Idaho. That was North Dakota. The people are coming back, they're hearing me. So there we have it, proof of concept completed. Uh, I made a couple contacts, wasn't hearing a lot. I, I did AB it between my NFED half wave that's going above the uh, street here. It's an 80 meter NFED half wave. It's that coax going down there and heard a lot more stations on that. So the verdict is still out on whether the radials matter that much. I'll, I'll do another field test out uh, in the park with this because I, I really want this to work. But this was more just a proof of concept and uh, it works, so we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted it to do. Shorter radials, tunes up on all the bands. Like I said, 20 is just, 20 for some reason is very, very finicky. Every other band tunes up no problem. Uh, I, I can tune 20, it just takes a lot longer. It, it took me probably 10 minutes to tune uh, 20 meters in before when we were just kind of screwing around here. So I will, uh, I'll do a follow-up video on this, but ah, it's a Sunday afternoon. Wanted to play with some antennas and I did. So I'd say mission accomplished. <laughs> guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you again on another episode of KMD Radio Stuff. 73 guys.